Hey, what's up guys? You're watching The Plant-Based Kitchen and my name is Cami. and I don't know about you, but I am filming from a quarantine zone right now and if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I love rice. Like literally probably eat rice on a daily basis except with quarantine happening everywhere, everyone has bought all of the rice everywhere, like every type of rice too. Like the instant rice, basmati, jasmine, like throw down whatever type of rice you're trying to get your hands on. You can't unless you go to the black market and buy rice. I don't really know if that's true, but probably is. So with that being said, I figured it was the perfect time to try something that I have been dying to try, which is to rice cauliflower. I know it's healthier. I know it has less carbs in it. Carbs are great, but you gotta still be careful of how many you're eating. So I'm like, I should probably lay off the rice slightly and rice some cauliflower. So I don't know how to do this. I'll be real with you right now. I do not know how to do this, but I figured why not do this together? Let's first start off with researching. I'm gonna research how to do this. We're gonna look this up on the internet. I'm assuming it's going to require, don't look at my password. We're in. So here's the deal. I'm gonna look on Pinterest because where else do you go to find recipes? How to rice. Okay, also can we talk about how cauliflower is spelled? C-A-U-L-I-F-L-O-W-E-R. I thought it was differently spelled, but we're not gonna talk about that because I want you to continue to think that I'm an intelligent person. So boom, here's one that says, how to make slash cook slash store cauliflower rice. There are all these ads everywhere. You guys notice this? Look at this. How many ads there are? Anyway, start by preparing the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, we'll wash it, nice. Two inch florets, got it. Pulse until it resembles the texture of rice. Oh, you let it rest to release moisture. That makes sense, I guess. And that's literally it. <laughs> that's literally it. So we're gonna put it in the food processor and we're gonna blend it. And then we're gonna let the water leak out of it. And then we're gonna cook it. Let's go. <sighs> okay, so. We're ready to do this thing. So I have my food processor. I just have my like regular shredder blade in here. Is that what that's called? The shredder blade? I don't know. That guy. And then obviously, shing. Actually, legit. My knife, fave knife. And is this kind of beautiful? I feel like this is actually kind of gorgeous. So uh, cauliflower, which uh, you know, I've been looking at a lot of different recipes. There's a lot you could do with this stuff. And so I'm excited to dabble and take you along that journey with me. So yeah, I think we're ready. Let's get to it. legitimately does look like rice. Can you see that? It's actually pretty cool. Um, so obviously I'm using my food processor 
This is something that I had Tony get me for my birthday um, this past year, I think. So I did a lot of research to find the one that was most like cost effective and um, had the best reviews. So I've linked it in the description below. If you don't have one and you're interested in looking into one, I'd highly recommend this Cuisinart one. But yeah, this seems to actually be working pretty well and I can't wait to cook it and actually give it a taste to see what it tastes like. Okay, so in touching the cauliflower, I can definitely see that it is a bit moist. Like I can feel that it's moist. I can see that it's moist. So I can see like why the recipes suggest to kind of like wring some of the water out. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'm just gonna try to cook this. So um, I don't really have a plan other than I'm preheating the oven right now to like 400 degrees. I feel like I wanna bake it to give it a little bit of a, I don't wanna say crispy texture, but I definitely don't want it to be like mushy. So I'm just gonna throw it on a baking sheet with some olive oil, um, some salt, and garlic powder, and maybe a little bit of, um, what's it called? Shoot, what is it called? Dillweed! So I'm gonna use some onion powder, salt, dillweed, couldn't remember what this was called, and good old olive oil. So what do I always teach you? Taste everything, even before we cook it. Because if it's nasty now, it's gonna be nasty when it comes out. So it's actually not, that's not bad. Um, I actually might be happy with it. So I'm just gonna spread it evenly, make sure it's laid out nice and flat, so we can have a nice even bake. Oh, and we're ready to get this guy in the oven. Let's see how it turns out. assessment the outside edges are a little overdone so I put it in the oven for like 15 20 minutes at 400 degrees I would probably recommend telling you to set it like 350 and then um, probably like 15 minutes is is good enough to get a lot of the moisture out of there um, and then I think it'll be good to go so moment of truth does it taste like rice does it feel like rice let's find out You guys, that's actually really good. This actually worked out way better than I thought it would. So let me know in the comments below, like what are you guys doing during this quarantine? What types of foods are your grocery stores out of that you're like desperately trying to find replacements for? I would love to know. As always, if you found value out of this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. I will have more content coming your way. Until next time, goodbye.